Question five in 2021, two right circular solid cones. Here we have them here inside a sphere. So we have this right circular cone. And they touch here. So we have this radius and we have this height. Actually, in this height we can see is also a radius. So H is equal to R for the cone. That should jump out at you straight away. And what are we asked to do here? We're asked to prove the volume in the remaining space is exactly half the total volume of the sphere. Okay, well, let's get the volume of the sphere first. The volume of a sphere is four thirds pi or cubed. And that's all we have here. We have no information, so we can't really do anything else. Now, the volume of a cone and we have two of them, but we'll just get one first. It's third pi r squared h. So with h being equal to r, the volume of a cone is equal to a third pi h equals r by r cubed. So that's the volume of my cone. So times two is equal to two thirds pi r cubed. So what's left is the total, which is four thirds pi r cubed minus two thirds pi r cubed which is equal to two thirds pi r cubed of empty space and what are we asked here prove that the volume in the remaining space right that's two thirds the remaining empty space is exactly half the total volume of the sphere which it is two thirds which is equal to half total volume of sphere now we're told the combined volume of the two cones is 686 over 3 pi centimeters cubed. So that's our two cones, 2 pi r cubed. 2 pi r cubed is equal to 686 pi over 3. And that was 2 thirds pi r cubed. So the trees cancel, the pi's cancel. And if we divide by 2, we get r cubed is equal to 3, 4, 3. And the cube root of 343 3 is 7. Was it units, centimeters? Nothing, just 7 units. For part 2. Part B. At 9 a.m., a delivery van leaves the factory. It travels towards a destination at an average speed of 60. S is equal to 60 here. We'll call average speed S. One hour and 45 minutes later, a second van leaves the factory. One hour, 45 minutes, 1.75. The other guy's gone at 60 kilometers an hour. So how long is, how far has he gone? 60 by 1.75 is 105 kilometers. So that's how far he's gone. So, so the second guy's gone 95 kilometers an hour. And they will arrive at their destination at exactly the same time. So let's just do a little straight line diagram here. Van A travels 105 kilometers before Van B starts. So Van A is now here and Van B is here. And they get to the point C at exactly the same time. So this time and this time must be equal. So let's call this distance X. So for van A, he's going at a speed of 60. These times are equal. Van B has to travel 105 plus X. And his speed is 95. So this is distance over speed being equal to time. And we can equate the two times. So we're going to get 95 X is equal to 6,000 plus 300. 6,300 plus 60 X. So we're going to get 35 X. At 60x, 35x is equal to 6300. So x is equal to 180. We're asked to find what time they arrive. So they have gone, well, 180 in here. If x is 180, x is equal to 180. He's gone at 60. 180 divided by 60 is 3 hours plus the 1 hour 45 is 4 hours 45 so 9 a.m plus 5 hours will be 2 p.m so 1 45 p.m 
is the time that these vans arrive.